Well, hello and welcome to Collier Stadium. We are here to watch the Greater Lowell United FC play versus the New York Cosmos B. Uh, it's a great night here at Collier Stadium. The teams are on the field and we're going to have a great match. Right now, the New York Cosmos are number one in this division on the MPSL. Uh, Greater Lowell United FC is coming in last, but actually it's a very good season for them. All the matches have been lost, not by many goals, so it is a great opportunity for the Greater Lowell United to turn the season around. This is the seventh game of the season for the Greater Lowell United, and you're going to watch it here on LTC. And people are coming into the stadium right now. The team's already presented it. Lowell Flash came in with the game with the team players. So we have all these kids with the yellow jerseys are from the Lowell Flash. We have friends from non-league America. We have friends from the new from the Midnight Riders on the field also going on. So we have a great match for you tonight. Stay tuned on LTC to watch 90 minutes of action here on Cali Stadium. I can't even get started. I have no way to. Yeah, you can't. You can't introduce, right? I can't do anything. No. Is that what you do? That's what I do. Yeah, you don't need a mic for that. So they give us a mic that doesn't work, basically. And the game is on here on Collier Stadium. We have the lineup right here for Negrello United that today are wearing black. And we have the New York Cosmos wearing green right now. We have the ball being passed around. We have a change on the lineup for the uh, New York Cosmos. We have Kyle Sobek on the goal, but we have an attack coming in. So we're going to check all the players later we have the great low united coming up right now well okay let's go back to the goalkeeper we are going to be able to check all the names right now we have kyle sovak on goal john niskans on number six of defense number three is andrew mali number 18 gonzalo rodriguez number 25 iwan stack number 33 is travis pitman we have a number 13 midfielder, Moriker uh, Sangri. Number 29 midfield, Dwayne Mukheti. Number 21, Robin Bover. Number 31, forward, Carl Oscar Anderson. Number 8, forward, Miguel. Uh, we have a different list here. Mila, Miguel Herlan. Those are the players for the uh, New York Cosmos B right now. And we have your... We're a Lowell United FC player. We have Sam Manning on goal. We have an attack on the right-hand side for the Great Lowell United. We have George right in. Ah, oh, it just went out. So close. We have Sam Manning on goalkeeper. And we have in the defense, Emiki Pires, number 13. Costas Valcafotis, Valcafotis, number 22. Patrick Hamilton with number 14. Derek Oliveira with number 16. Midfields, 
Sarak Sen, Joe Medeir is with number eight. Number 13, 17, Doug Searle. Number five, George Lavantakis. We have forwards Ron Sard, Masamba, and John Dumbuya. With number 11, John Dumbuya. Number 16 is Masamba. That you're gonna hear me saying Samba because that's what we call him. We have a throw in on the left hand side or the up side of the field for you guys on TV. For the New York Cosmos that are getting the ball around the between the 20 and the 20th yard line, but can't pa be can't pass Derek Oliveira. But so far the ball is for the New York Cosmos that are opening the field. But through the middle, and we have Don Dumbuya stopping the ball. We have Samba going up. The ball for John Dumbuya who gets in. That's ah, that's a great, great stop of the ball and gets a throw in for a great low United. You're gonna see now Miki Perez hands on the ball and how they can really throw that in all the way into the box. We need to get those uh, ball boys ready here on the field because we're getting so much time wasted right now. Hopefully that just because it's the third minute of the game and will now happen again, that gets enough time for the New York Cosmos to get their defense right. Hopefully that's not gonna happen a lot. We're gonna make Perez throw in, the ball into the box. The goalkeeper gets the ball, secured by Kali Sobek here at Kali Stadium. So he decides not to throw the ball in all the way in, just play in with his defense. We have number 33 right now with the ball. We have Travis Pittman that throws the ball all the way in into the Grail Lowell United side of the field. But uh, luckily for the GLUFC, number 13, Moriker Sangari doesn't get the ball right. And we have a throw in, a defensive throw in for Doug Grail Lowell United. Uh, let's remind yourself, we are four minutes in. And uh, just to keep in mind, Grillo United right now are 0 6 on the on games. And uh, we have the New York Cosmos, who are actually number one on the division after winning yesterday to the Seacoast Phantoms over at New Hampshire. We have the ball going from one side to the other on defense, trying to open the field up. And this one goes all the way out. Patrick Hamilton waits and. Yes, it's ball for the Grey Low United. We see that uh, the New York Cosmos are not playing lots in the midfield, are just getting the ball around. When, and as I say that, they start actually passing the ball through the midfield. That was a hard play by Dog Searle. But that player went down. So, theater here at Collier Stadium. You will be able to see probably a replay on that that I cannot check, but I don't think that was such a big foul. And the ref doesn't think so either because he doesn't get a yellow card out. That means that it's not that big of a deal right now. But we have a dangerous position right now. Let's remind ourselves last time the Lowell, the Great Lowell United play here. They actually got scored from a free kick from this side, and the ball goes out. I think we got a, we got a goal kick. It looked like a Great Lowell United player headed that out, but apparently not, which is actually good for us here at Collie Stadium, where Great Lowell United and the Dragons play as a home team. We have Sam Manning who's going to release the dragon now. He's gonna get the ball all the way out. And we have the crowd. We have the Mina Riders here. And the Lowell fans. Going in. The ball goes out and is greatly Lowell United's ball. That did bounce funny. And we have Derek Oliveira getting the throw in. We have Samba. And New York Cosmos plays it safe. The Cosmos plays safe. And the ball goes out. We have right here 
I'm gonna change. I have a window in front of me, so if you hear that noise, I'm sorry, but I can't see right now. There we go. It's Cosmos ball in the midfield. They keep playing those long balls uh, straight into the middle. In the middle. Um, not that much of a differential. They do the same thing, the same play over and over again. And we'll see a repetitive pattern here. Great ball won by Costas here. We have John Dumbuya getting the ball in. George gets Samba. And his handball. The ball goes out. It's Cosmos ball here. Throwing? Handball? Where are they getting in? We don't know. And how far is he going to go there? Goster gets the defense. Joe Maderas misses that head, and we have number 21, Ruben, going the ball in, and it's Sam Manning's ball here at Collier Stadium. Dogster gets the ball in the middle. That's Mickey Perez with the ball. We have John Dumbuya that misses the pass for forward Samba. Costa played is safe, but we have forward number 21 for Cosmos going the ball in. We have right here, turns around, turn around so I see the number. Well, we have number 21 with the ball right now. Opens the field. That's actually very good soccer to win more possibilities. We have a runner, a runner going into the box. Number 33 is all over the place. Danger here in the area. Oh, it's out. The ball is out. So we have a goal kick for the Greater Lowell United. And we see Magnus Burtis. We have Magnus the Dragon on the field here at Collier Stadium. We have Greater Lowell United's mascot on the field. Dragon release. The ball gets to the midfield. We have a game that comes and goes. Good game so far. Saraxan gets the ball to the defense. Uh, this concentration there. Sam Manning plays it safe. Gets the ball out. It goes out. It went out. We have a throw in midfield for the New York Cosmos that are controlling the situation so far here at Collie Stadium. We have a defense for the Cosmos getting the ball around to number three to Andrew Malley. Opening the field again. One of those long balls to the midfield, through the mid. Attempting a pass, and we get a corner kick right now for the New York Cosmos. First one in the game. First corner kick. We have more people coming into the Collier Stadium now. That's getting filled here. Great game so far. <laughs> we have the Middle Riders. Going rowdy versus the New York Cosmos. We have might have a Beverly great throw in, great defense by John Dumbuya who's running through the midfield. We have Samba and the ball is for the Greater Lowell United. Great way to get the danger out of the way for the Greater Lowell United. We have Patrick Hamilton with the throw in. John Dumbuya getting the ball in the midfield to Mr. Hamilton that uh, securely goes through. Uh, now ball for the Cosmos who are running through the band and uh, we have a foul. We have a foul by number 31 Carl Oscar Anderson to Amiki Perez. And now the Grey Lowell you know, gets on the field. Move forward. We have five GLUFC players on New York Cosmos territory. We have Samba running for a ball and uh, the, great, uh, the New York Cosmos keeper, Kyle Sobek, gets the ball on his hand securely. Lots of action here so far at Collie Stadium. I'm going to get a sip of water. I'm talking too much. Come on! That wasn't a foul. We heard. Just because the player screams, it's not a foul. But we have action still. Costas is on defense. The player that supposedly got a foul now is running with no issues. Players coming in. And uh, great defense by Joe Madera that loses the ball. Open the ball and securely. Amiki Perez calms the situation down. And we have Sam Manning with the ball. Player from the Cosmos going in. Derek Oliveira with the ball right now. The defense 
coming forward for the Great Loyal United. Long ball for some ah, for John Dumbuya there. Too bad it was not connected. There's n not much connection right now by the Great Lowell United um, between the midfield. A great attack, but great save. It's goal. It's a goal for the Cosmos. So that actually was saved by Sam Manning. Unlikely, we have a goal for New York Cosmos. 12 minutes into the game, 12 minutes 11. As soon as I see the number, I'm going to call who made it. Um, Unluckily, uh, GLBC is down 1-0 right now. We got a goal. Cosmos B1. Real Lowell United 0. Huh. Midfield gets into where he loses the ball. Cosmos stack again. Patrick Hamilton gets the ball, gets the run. He's getting the run. Joe Maduro is going in. John Dumbuya gets the ball inside. Ah, loses the ball. Cannot fully control it. Loses the ball. And we have number 18 with the throw in. That's Gonzalo Rodriguez for the Cosmos B. Thoraxan controls the ball. But cannot get it through Joe Maderas and we have the Great Lowell United. We have a throwing for the Cosmos, Great Lowell United still one down. Nice triangle there with Joe Maderas loses the ball and the Cosmos get the defense set up again and open the field. Probably to throw a long ball again. Opening the field right now, you see the uh, gets between number three and number six. We have Andrew Malley with the ball right now. That passes it to John Niskins. And number 25 goes down. Sorry, number 21, Ethan Etok, goes down. I don't know if, yeah, calls a foul. The ref calls a foul there for the New York Cosmos. It didn't look like a foul, actually, but. We get an over opening up the field for the Cosmos. A long ball that goes into danger in the box for Grey Lowell United. Mickey that's not able to get the ball out. We have right now number 18 for the Cosmos. Bring danger again. But John Dumbuya gets the ball. And we have, yes, we have a foul. A little kick on John Dumbuya's feet. Patrick Hamilton gets the ball in. Great touch by John Dumbuya. The uh, misconnection between the players from the Great Lowell United and missed the ball. John Dumbuya plays a bit faster than the other place, apparently. Tarakzan gets the ball to Dumbuya. Dumbuya to Medeiros. Medeiros is going up. He's going up the field, trying to get the ball to a player. Goes in. Opens the field away to George Yotis. George, go in. George goes into the box. Shoots and uh, number 12, Kyle Sabek. Goalie for... Cosmos gets the ball with his feet. Danger on the Cosmos box. We great play by Joe Maderis opening the field right there. Number 21 for the Cosmos gets the ball. Number 21 is Ruben Bover. Ruben Bover with the ball in the midfield, looking for a free player. Long ball in. Long ball in behind Derek. Oliver is back. And they play the game here. 15 minutes in, still 1 0 for New York Cosmos. Sam Manning releasing the dragon here, midfield. And it's ball is out for the New York Cosmos. We have ball in midfield still is the place to be apparently while the New York Cosmos get the ball around from number three to number six to the captain and now number 18. Gonzalo Rodriguez opens the field, number 21. Joe Maderas wins the ball, but unlikely goes out. Gonna kick the ball into the game again.
Mickey Perez gets the ball and way to header to Sam Manning. That pushes it all the way to the 40 yard line. Well controlled by New York Cosmos, who run here. Number 21, Ruben Bulber. Goes out, throw in for New York Cosmos. Danger in the box for GLUFC. Goes in, header out. Oh, not well jumped by Sam Manning. Not a good cover. And luckily for the GLUFC, the header goes to the side. Danger on the goal for GLUFC. We have more people coming into the game. A great showing today here at Collier Stadium to see to watch this match. We have 17 minutes into the clock. And the match still 1-0-4. The New York Cosmos are controlling the game, but not creating much many situations. Throw in for the New York Cosmos, that get it to the defense. You see that pattern, right? They get the ball to number three, opens it up, opens the field, and try to play through the sides. Here it didn't work, but that is what they have been doing for the last 18 minutes. Patrick Hamilton with the throw in, doesn't know where to throw. It goes all the way up to John Dumbuya that misses the ball, but gets a, gets a foul. Gets a foul for the Great Lowell United, and luckily will get the ball in the box and a goal in. It's getting rowdy here. Mickey Perez gets the ball to put it in the box. We are on the 30 yard line. We have two players on the wall here for the Cosmos. Here's a goal kick. Goes into the box. And unluckily, Doc Searle heads it toward their side. We have great defense by number 31 from the GL UFC that I don't have on the list right here. Oh, that's not Derek? I don't know. Here it says Derek is a different number. Yeah. John Dumbuya gets the ball in the midfield. Dribble through a player by Patrick Hamilton. When gets the ball, loses it. We have Mickey Perez covering right there. And Patrick Hamilton now goes back, covers the ball, gets a foul. Danger avoided by the deal of the UFC. Who are not being able to get the bands going. Number 21 Lucy gets the ball for Cosmos. Danger in the box. Are they going to shoot? Are they not going to shoot? We have the New York Cosmos with danger around it. And we have number eight right now. Is he throwing in? Get the Mickey Perez, gets the ball. John Dumbuya with the counter attack. Is he going to take the run? No, he's waiting for his teammates to follow him in. And Doc Searle doesn't take the run. And uh, now the New York Cosmos are able to reorganize back into the game. So the defense goes up, down, and again throws the ball all the way in. We kept, kept keep seeing the same pattern for New York Cosmos. Ball from number three to number 18, back to number three, maybe number 33, and gets all the ball the, ball the way to the 20-yard line from the GL USC. Uh, Mickey Perez with the ball right now that opens the field to Patrick Hamilton that takes his time, goes toward Joe Madera, Joe Madera to Samba, that uh, defensor, defender from Cosmos loses the ball, goes all the way to the goalkeeper that is actually winning yards by stepping out of the box because GLVC doesn't put pressure on the defense right now. And ball again. Plays around the defense, and Mickey Perez gets the situation out of the way. We have a foul for GL UFC that the ref enforces for it to go and be played in the 
inside the box. It doesn't seem to be uh, offside that they are changing, that they are getting into. But game is on here at Collier Stadium. We have Costas with a long ball for somebody that the keeper, Kyle Sobek, handles well. We have pressure by John Dumbuya, number 33, almost misses the ball. Maybe there's a bit more pressure up for GLVFC. So the defense that's not able to do what it's actually doing right now, get the ball from side to side and kick it all the way in. Number 13, more. Moriker Sangari. We have different numbers and different names here on the di two different lists for the New York Cosmos. So I do apologize when I get uh, a name wrong or I need to double check them. Avoids Costas. Um, Balka Fotis avoids the corner by getting the ball to a throw in for the New York Cosmos. Ball is being controlled right now by New York Cosmos for the last uh, two, three minutes, but the ball goes out. Too much handling and misses it. John Dumbuya controls the ball. Doug Sir gets the ball around, and uh, I don't really know what he tried to do there, but now we have four players, two players from the Cosmos about trying to hit. He shoots the ball into, and it goes out. Close, but no cigar. New York Cosmos B is not being able to complete its situation. Gets the ball all the way to the box. It's not able to close it, but they are closer to the second goal than the GLUFC to the first. Number 13 with the ball, puts it down. Number 22, we have Costas Balfaka is getting the ball in, and the ball is still, is it still in? It's still in. And number 31, no, it's not in. We have throwing for the New York Cosmos. Goes to number 29. That's not being covered right now. Number 13. Have a bunch of headers. The ball doesn't go down. Have no much control. The ball's still in the air. So danger is for the Gray Lowell United. We have Samba pressure. Pressure up by Jordan Dumbuya. The lines are not going up for the Gray Lowell United that let the New York Cosmos. Uh, goalie go out of the box, get the ball to the defense, and again, the ball goes down, goes to number three, who op tries to open the field, it can't, yep, it opens the field to number six on the other side, captain John Niskins, that, well, the bird is, is intercepted by Joe Medeiros, number eight from the GLU of C, but the lines from Gray Lowell you know, need to step a bit further up, not only because they are losing, but because they can actually put some pressure on this ball movement that we see right now from the New York Cosmos. For number six, long ball again to number 21. Likely a wrong, a bad pass that Patrick Hamilton is able to get, and it goes on the side.